<clears throat> Get your Nipak 2.4 update in 5 minutes or less. Go. First off, we got two new characters. Shen He. Shen He. Oh, sorry. Shen He. And Yun Jin. Yun Chan Juan Lai. What the heck? The thicker than a snicker emo girl, Shen He. Will be available in the first half of the banners, alongside with the short toothpick emo boy, Zhao. While the second half of the banners will include Big Dong Zhang and the Goat Chick, so four whole banners. I hope your primal gems are ready. Next, we got two more hangout events, one with Yunjin and one with the mop head. One you don't want to listen to, and one that's hard to look at with her crusty, musty, raggedy, nappy, iron on, gorilla glue, weave looking. I'm still waiting for Rosaria and Fickle hangout. Next, we got a new weapon, Shen Hu's weapon, Calamity Quiller. Cool. Next, Engraved Wishes. Do you remember this web event in September? Oh, you mean the event we got for the poor excuse of an anniversary where instead of putting all the millions of dollars you made every month since the game's release back into the game, and rewarding the dedicated and committed players who supported the game by creating an actual in-game activity that would bring the entire community together in a memorable and fun event, you decided to use that money to build a totally humble statue of Paimon in a place not even half the community would be able to see or visit? I've totally been wondering about that self-centered reward where not even 1% of the community get to have their message engraved on it ever since it was announced for the tragedy known as the first anniversary. Let's see how it looks. Lantera is back with new events part of it, Flame Plume Starflowers. In this event, you basically cosplay as Yoimiya and craft fireworks for the Liwei Festival. The Li Wei. Li Wu? Li, Li Wu. Li, Wu. Li Wei. Yeah. Wondrous Shadows. This low key looks like fun. In this event, you have to complete riddles by using the shadows to form the correct shape of these deformed blocks. Time to work the one brain cell I have left from playing this game. The Great Gathering. Just like every other quest in this game, it's your job to pick up the pieces and do everyone's work for them. Why? Because they said so. Why do we do what everyone says? Because Lumini is a good person. Or Ether if you swing that way. In this event, you basically run around and salvage pieces of the J Chamber. So you're either a mob head simp and will gladly do all her work for her, or you really need those primal gems. Or both. Also, Here's for the evidence that Mihoyo doesn't even play their own game. Incredible. The final activity to do in the Lantern Rider event, Ocean Defender. In this event, you take on the giant sea serpent. If this boss fight is anything like the Devalon boss fight, you can expect to get bored of it after your second time doing it. Next, from completing the Lantern Rider, you are rewarded with the choice between any of these four stars. Nice. Better than an oversized builder bear made out of Legos. Next, four updates later, they are finally releasing new skins for the Mop Head and Shrimp Ball Addict. And that's it. For real? It's been four updates. It's not like the skins add unique visual effects or new animation, like they should given they cost half your wallet. Why they take four updates just to release two? <clears throat> anyway, congrats to anyone who even plays these characters. For everyone else, don't worry. Our Archon skins and Beach Episode Rosario skin will come out soon. I hope. Eh. Probably not. Next, we got new events. A study in potions. In this event, you face challenges with the ability to use different potions, each with their own effects. Can't wait to beat each challenge and forget to use even a single potion, because the game is just that easy. Eight locals over mountains and seas. In this event, you act as a tourist guide and smuggle ninja raccoon bears outside of Inazuma and into Monsa and Liwei. Liwu. Le... 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 le, le, le. This sounds like fun and totally not illegal. And for the final event, Wind Trace is back. All you sweaty Mona and Ayaka players, your time has come once again. Next, a 2.4 update is adding a new map that looks like something straight out of Dark Souls. Seriously, if there's one thing Genshin does right, it's the character and map design. It seems like they've only been getting better and better. Now if only they would do the same with the rest of the game. Also with mobile players. Next, with the new region comes new enemies. Baithi Small Vishap. These enemies can manipulate the environment as well as work together to perform combo chain attacks. These guys really out here playing Final Fantasy inside of Genshin. For real though, I love the idea of this and would love to see more unique mechanics like this for future enemies. They've also added a Pyro Abyss Lector and new elements of Spectres. Yay! Fun fact about the Pyro Abyss Lector, his attacks go through shields. Have fun. Next, we're finally getting more system optimizations. 1. Optimizes the Spiral Abyss display interface. Now you can see when you fail to reach a condition to complete a floor. So instead of the game telling you how much you suck after the floor is complete, the game will now tell you how much you suck before the floor is complete, just so you always know how much you suck. 2. Adds function to custom my shortcut wheel. Wait, really? They actually did something we've been asking for? Ain't no way. 3. Optimizes display of map interface. You can now use the tab on the map to select different regions. What? They added something else useful? This is a joke, right? 
board. Optimizes the display interface for crafting and forging. Now you can find the items you need more quickly. Three in a row! Bruh, I must be dreaming. Hold up. Where's my gun at? And finally, you can now select a group of items to move inside your Savannah teapot. Nice. Now what about more storage space? We've also added a jukebox inside the teapot. Very nice. Now hit us with that storage space. Yeah, Never mind.